everybody keeps talking about Will Howard is automatically going to be the Buckeyes QB1 in the fall while Devin Brown is still in the Buckeyes quarterback room. You are Locked On Buckeyes, your daily podcast on the Ohio State Buckeyes. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome, fans. I know it's been great. It's not here yet, but it's almost here, and now seems like a perfect time to talk about what Ohio State's starting quarterback might do in the fall. Welcome in, Buckeye fans, to a Tuesday edition of Locked on Buckeyes here on Tuesday, February 20th in the year 2024. I'm your host, Jay Stevens, also the host of the Jay Stevens Podcast, and today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more. New customers, make sure you join today, and you'll get $150 in bonus bets if your first bet of $5 or more wins. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to get started. Will Howard is a transfer quarterback coming into Ohio State after a year where many people were not satisfied with what the Buckeyes got from Kyle McCord in the fall. Ryan Day would not give Kyle McCord the comfort that he wanted to stay at Ohio State by telling him he would be QB1 in the upcoming season. Ryan Day said no. Ryan Day said McCord could compete. McCord leaves Columbus, goes to Syracuse, and now you got Will Howard, who is now the Buckeyes' new quarterback. But then think about this. Devin Brown is still there. And I do think when it comes to these two guys, Will Howard and Devin Brown, even though Howard has the experience, I think Devin Brown should have the mindset to compete and go into it thinking he has a realistic shot to win the starting quarterback position at Ohio State. And I am one. I am not going to shy away from this statement. I am a person simply up here saying Will Howard comes in to be your starting quarterback. You don't bring him in to not be your starting quarterback because that is true. But Devin Brown is still in the quarterback room. Devin Brown is still there. Devin Brown lost the QB battle a year ago. Devin Brown battled injury in the offseason after, well, in the middle of spring practice leading into the summer. Got injured again in the season, missed a few games. Got injured again in the Cotton Bowl. But he's been injured a lot in a short period of time. But let's just say he's fully healthy. Let's just say in spring practice they're splitting reps. Let's just say that Devin Brown is wowing Chip Kelly, is wowing the offensive players and coaches and saying, oh, whoa, whoa, we know he brought in Will Howard to be QB1, but Devin Brown's right here showing us that he's taking his game to another level. And while taking his game to another level, what do we see? We got a competition on our hands. And I think that's what Ohio State and these two guys specifically absolutely Maybe, maybe need at least early. Now, we'll talk later if it should last all summer going into the season like I did a year ago because I have some very important thoughts about that very topic. But Devin Brown should not go into this thing saying, oh, I, I can't win it. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, it ain't my job. He should not go in there like that. One, Ryan Day wants guys on his team that will compete. Absolutely Every day of the week and twice on Sunday, you come in there, you compete. Yes, there may be an older guy there in front of you. You may have battled injury. Whatever obstacle might be realistically in your way, physically, or mentally as a mental block or an obstacle in your brain, whatever it might be, Ryan Day wants you to compete. In comes these two guys. Number 33 in the roster. It's still weird that a quarterback wears number 33. Remember watching Friday Night Lights? And you saw the Permian Panthers and the quarterback wore number 20. And you're sitting here like, whoa, 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 what is this? Is this a video game? No, it's a movie. It's a pretty popular movie. Talking about a really good football team. And what do you find? You end up finding the quarterback's wearing a number that's generally reserved for a skill position, primarily running back, may, maybe tight end, but primarily running back, or somebody on defense, secondary Maybe a linebacker, really any number on defense, any position on defense, can wear number 20. But you don't normally find a quarterback wearing number 20. Same thing with Devin Brown wearing number 33. These two guys, and I do think Will Howard, I'm not going to sit up here and be like, oh, Will Howard shouldn't automatically be QB1. It's his job to loot. It shouldn't be. No, it should be. 
He has proven himself. He's won a big, t- big, not big 10 yet, big 12 conference championship. He is a guy that beat a team that eventually played in the national championship game against Georgia in the 2022 season in TCU to win the Big 12 championship. And if you watch that game, if you watch Will Howard any length of time, is he the best quarterback that was in the portal? No, absolutely not. I watch a lot of football. Even if I didn't, I could watch a quick clip and say, oh, that he's a dude, he's amazing, he could be good, but not above average. There's a lot of things to describe Will Howard. He's a good quarterback. He ain't no Caleb Williams. He ain't no Drake May. He ain't no C.J. Stroud. And I'm not really up here trying to tell you that he's definitely a major upgrade over Kyle McCord. I'm not there to say that. And until he proves me otherwise, (laughs) y'all, people out there can say it. I am not going to. What I will say is this. Devin Brown needs to go into this competition or, excuse me, into the offseason, spring practice, realizing Ryan Day wants him to compete. He needs to compete. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He needs to compete. Competing will not only say a lot about him, and let's say he doesn't stay at uh, uh, play at Ohio State. He doesn't uh, win the job. He decides to transfer at some point in time. What will it do with a new, with this new landing spot? They'll be they'll get a report. They'll, there'll be a lot of people talking and said, "Oh, okay, you didn't get the job. Had some injuries, but you showed a lot of people even in a, a time when you did not get the job that you're not going to back down and you're going to compete." For everything. That's what you want, man. That's what you want in a football player, especially a starting quarterback. You want guys who will compete Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Don't matter the day of the week. Could be one practice a day. Could be two a days. Could be three a days. Could be your own personal film session. But you're competing every single day. Not only competing with the players in the room that you're in, but also competing with yourself to constantly get better. These are things that Ryan Day wants, that you want in a competitor, that you want in a football player, that you want at Ohio State. You want these things in those types of athletes. Devin Brown going into this thing realizing, hey, I can win this. And don't let what happened last year derail you off of the goal that is you potentially winning the quarterback competition at Ohio State. It can happen. And I think bringing in Chip Kelly and a new quarterback, everybody has to prove to Chip Kelly who and what they are as a quarterback. Everybody. Devin Brown, Will Howard, Lincoln Keenholz, Air Noland, Julian Sain. you got to prove to him and all the walk-ons as well. You have to prove to him what you are and who you are you have to it's going to take a lot of work (laughs) it's not easy it's not easy at all it's gonna it might cause some frustration it might do a lot of things that you possibly don't like that's okay that's okay that's all right not a big deal Devin Brown can win the job. It's going to be really hard for him to do that, though. It's going to be really, really hard. And honestly, if I were to sit here right now on February 20th and let you know, say, hey, Jay, who do you think is going to win the quarterback battle? Will Howard. Can Devin Brown win it? Absolutely. But, buddy, it's going to be really, really hard for him to do that going into this pivotal season and to the Ohio State University. I, I mentioned something earlier. I'm going to ask this question again. Do the Buckeyes need a quarterback competition that goes into the regular season and back-to-back years. We'll dive into that next on Locked on Buckeyes. This episode is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Get pockets with your first bet on FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook, because right now new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. Guys, that's so good. Your boy has to read it again. New customers, you're, a- you're able to get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. That's $150 bucks simply if your bet wins. Bet on all your favorite NBA players and teams with quick bets, live same game parlays, exclusive props, and more. How do you do all that? By visiting fanduel.com slash locked on. Once again, you do it. 
while visiting FanDuel.com and make sure you use this code slash L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N and shoot your shot FanDuel, official sports book partner of the NBA. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Billiards Plus. Billiards Plus has the best selection of pool tables, game tables, shuffleboard tables, and more. And the best service in Central Ohio. And guys, check this out. Billiards Plus carries grills that have up to 30-year warranties. That's right, a grill with a 30-year warranty. Everything you need for in-home and backyard entertainment is at Billiards Plus. And the grills, whether you like charcoal, like yours truly, or gas or wood fire. Billiards Plus has the perfect setup for all grillers. They are family owned and operated. And when you talk to the staff at Billiards Plus, you know you're talking to an expert who won't steer you wrong no matter the season. Billiards Plus has you covered for all your indoor and outdoor entertainment needs. Kenny, Sarah, and the whole entire staff will always go above and beyond to give you the best customer service in the industry. Billiards Plus, visit their showroom on Dublin Center Drive in Dublin. Locked On has launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on the YouTube. And now it's also available on Amazon Fire TV in the free Fire TV channels app. Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with the local experts of Locked On Plus. Our national shows covering every league. Find Locked On Sports Today now available on the free Fire TV channels app, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team, every day. Does, do Ohio State's quarterbacks, not does, do Ohio State's quarterbacks need a competition that goes into the regular season two years in a row? That is a question that I think everybody should be asking right now. Because if you think about last season, and I was not a fan of the way it, the way it was handled last year, I don't think it really absolutely needs to happen. Wow, words are hard right now. Let's try to figure this thing out together. I absolutely, there we go, don't think, absolutely don't think it should go into the regular season again. You saw what happened last year. You saw the backlash and the pushback that even people like myself provided about Ohio State doing that thing in the next season. Why do it again if you don't need to? Because last year, I will sit up here and tell you this. If you were to ask me last year, does Ohio State need to have this competition go into the regular season? I would have said no. Absolutely not. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense for anybody at all. For Ohio State to once again have the same type of quarterback competition and for people to say, oh, push it into the regular season, go into week one, week two, week three, week four, whatever the weeks or games might be, let that thing go there. Why? Is it needed? Probably not. Then why do it? Oh, because you can. But sometimes the things you think, you decisions you make are because you can make them, not because they're the best decision for you to make at that point in time. And when it comes to these two guys, Will Howard should have this thing wrapped up if he is QB1 by the end of summer. Now, I don't think Ryan Day is going to be the one to call that shot and for him to say, Will Howard is definitely going to be the starting quarterback for the Buckeyes in the, in the upcoming season. I don't think Ryan Day is going to make that statement until mid-August, like always. Justin Fields, C.J. Stroud, Kyle McCord. Kyle McCord went into the regular season, which – Still dumb. Uh, I don't think he's ever going to do that thing in the summer, which is make it public who QB1 is. For Devin Brown, going to piggyback off of a conversation we had in the previous segment, if Devin Brown wants to be QB1, he's going to have to have this thing string out into the regular season. Because I don't think he's going to be able to do anything in practice that propels him over Will Howard. I don't think so. I personally think Devin Brown's a guy that he's going to have to work hard, grind hard, become a whole lot more accurate. I hope they don't do the whole QB power, QB run type things with Devin Brown because what does Ryan Day want from his quarterback? To be a pocket passer first. To be able to make all the throws from the pocket first. And if you prove in practice, Devin Brown, you can make all those throws and do it consistently. Hey, 
you're going to need game film to be able to move Will Howard out of the QB1 spot. And I'm not naive enough to say, oh, it can't happen. I absolutely think it can happen. But DB got a ball, man. I ain't really got nicknames for a lot of guys right now. My wife has some for for a, a one for Mecca Abuka, and of course her and I with Tommy Eichenberg, who's no longer here, call Ike. That's a, a, his nickname around our apartment, and uh, really hoping that Ike and Steel Chambers can make some money for themselves in the NFL Combine. Because trust me, trust me, trust me, the way that they played last year was not the way they played the previous year. And they're going to need these opportunities this time of year to raise their draft to- stock to be day two picks, round t- two and three. Because personally right now, I see them being day three picks. I don't think any of either of them is going to be a tough Borland being an undrafted free agent because I think both of them are better than tough Borland was a few years ago. And if you disagree with me, I think tough Borland was better than Tommy Eichenberg or Still Chambers. I think you and I need to have a conversation outside of the space of this year podcast because I, I don't want to share those thoughts here on the show with anyone if someone thinks Tough Borland was better than Eichenberg or Still Chambers. Miss me with that analysis because it's bad, and we don't like bad or poor analysis around these parts. I don't know where that came from. I, I got Ike and Still Chambers in my head, and who knows? I do, I do know this, though. Let's get back to the subject at hand. I do know this. Devin Brown can actually absolutely, absolutely capture this opportunity right in front of him. Don't let this thing just just end early, DB. Oh, no, no, no. Let this thing trickle on, move forward, trickle on, move forward, keep grinding, keep grinding, get healthy, and hopefully stay healthy. Because if Devin Brown wants this thing to be his, for him to win the QB1 title, I think he's going to have to string this thing out into the regular season to have that game film under his belt and for it to be so superior over Will Howard's that Chip Kelly and Ryan Day have no no opportunity, no other thing to do but to put number 33 in as a starting quarterback. Imagine how weird that would be if you roll out there at Ohio State week in. Well, for the fans, I don't think it'd be worth for him week in, week out, week in, week out. And you see number 33 as a quarterback. What? It's possible, y'all. I mean, this is the world in which we live in. It is possible for Devin Brown. Keep your mind right. Keep your mind right, young man, because it's going to be tough. It's going to be really, really tough to be able to keep your mind right, state level headed, and also realize you cannot let the guy who is throwing with you, probably ahead of you in the QB rotation during practice, you can't let what he is doing derail himself, derail him from winning that job. Now, some of you might be saying, Jay, do you really think Devin Brown's that good? I have no idea how good Devin Brown is. I don't think Ryan Day knows how good Devin Brown is on the game. Got a lot of that practice film, got a lot of that practice tape, but I don't think anybody truly in their right mind will tell you they know what kind of college football quarterback Devin Brown is. If they say they do, what are they basing it off of? If it's high school recruiting film, eh, wrong. Don't care about that. This is college. If you're saying you're basing it off a of practice film, eh, wrong. Once again, why? This is game stuff we're talking about. We ain't, we ain't talking about no practice. Ain't no practice, man. No, this ain't it. What are we looking at? We're looking at what you do during the game, which is why nobody, absolutely nobody, knows what Devin Brown will do as a quarterback when he if he when he's consistently on the football field. They don't have no data to be able to tell people what he will do. If that were the case, we would know exactly what Air Nolan and what Julian saying and what Lincoln Kinholds would will be as QBs at Ohio State in college, but we don't. What about those three quarterbacks? Where do they stand in this mess of the Ohio State's quarterback room? Well, I'll tell you next on Locked on Buckeyes. This episode is brought to you by LinkedIn Jobs. When you're hiring for your small business, you want to find quality professionals that are right for the role. That's why you have to check out LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn Jobs has the tools to help find the right professionals for your team faster and for free. We all love that free stuff. LinkedIn isn't just another another job board. LinkedIn has a vast network 
of more than a billion professionals, <clears throat> which makes the best makes it the best place to hire. It gives you the access to professionals you can't find anywhere else. LinkedIn does all that while making the process easy and intuitive. LinkedIn knows that small businesses are wearing so many hats and might not have the time or resources to hire. LinkedIn is constantly finding ways to make the process easier. They even just launched a feature that helps you write job descriptions, making the process even easier and quicker. 2.5 million small businesses use LinkedIn for hiring. Post your job for free at LinkedIn.com slash locked on college. That's LinkedIn.com slash locked on college to post your job for free. Terms and conditions apply. Thank you for making Locked on Buckeyes your first listen every single day. I am here. I am excited. And I am watching closely. Going to be. Spring practice isn't here yet. But I will be watching closely what happens with the other quarterbacks in this room. Devin Brown and Will Howard are going to get a lot of attention. And I know that I said DB first and then Will Howard second. Flip that thing around. QB, QB one's Will Howard. QB two is Devin Brown. Can Lincoln Keen hold usurp and go over <laughs> Devin Brown to this competition? Absolutely. It's going to take a lot of work, but absolutely it can happen. But what about Keen holds no land in saying, where are they in this in all this mess? They're the others. They're still there. They're part of that group that is trying to get on the field. Different than some of the other positions. I'm going to compare quarterback to uh, running back a little bit, kind of have some similarities there, but also talk about linebacker, talk about O-line, talk about secondary, and just talk about how, man, look, the, there are similar similarities between those, but also differences. We think about comparing the running back position and quarterback position. They're similar as far as how you get on the field, be the best, but also – most college football quarterbacks will play two, at least two. Some will play three running backs. So in the upcoming season, I do believe Ohio State's going to primarily play two. Travion Henderson and Quinshawn Judkins. Who should start? Who should back up? That is one that people differ on. Some say Henderson should start. Judkins should back up. Some say Quinshawn should start and Travion should back up. Whichever route you're on, you're getting a guy. If, if, if Henderson's healthy and Judkins is healthy, Two of the better backs in the Big Ten Conference. I I I that I 100 absolutely believe that. I'm talking about two guys here. You can only play one quarterback. I mean, you can play more than one quarterback at a time. That would not be the best use of your resources. Think about secondary. You play two corners. If you want to play nickel the entire time, you can play three corners. You can play two safeties. Or if you want to have a four-two-five traditional, you can do three safeties and two corners. What does that mean? You're going to play guys, multiple corners, multiple safeties a game. And ultimately, you could have a guy that rotates and say, hey, maybe he's a nickel corner, but maybe he needs to be an outside corner. Why? Because it's just the way the position is utilized in the current state of college football. Think about linebackers. Ohio State could easily roll out there and say, hey, we're doing this jack position again. It's three LBs. And what did I tell you when we first found out that Jim Knowles was going to be the defensive coordinator? It's not a 4-2-5 that Jim Knowles runs. It's a 3-3-5 if he has a jack position. Three down linemen. It's a jack linebacker who is a hybrid linebacker and defensive end role. He's more of a stand-up role, A-gap, B-gap, outside, whatever type of positioning they want him to be in, he's going to be there. But also you're going to have those two linebackers. So sometimes, sometimes the Buckeyes might use three linebackers. They might use two. They might use four. How does that compare with the quarterbacks? I think you understand where we're going. You can only play one. So if the competition, the top two guys in the room, not even truly saying that Devin Brown's better than Lincoln Kinholz because Lincoln's only been there for a year, so I'm not really sure exactly what he'll be down the road in year two. Maybe we'll get a glimpse of that during the spring game. That's TBD to be determined. But Lincoln Keen holds Aaron Nolan, Julian Sand. It's kind of like just waiting your turn. You kind of got to figure out, hey, where do I fit in in this mess? Do they have an opportunity to start? 
sure, grind, work for it. But if it's clear you're not going to, keep your mind right, stay in the textbook, stay in the film room, stay in the training room, stay in the Woody, do all of the things that the coaches ask of you every single day. Do it every day, no questions asked, every day of the week, twice on Sunday, whatever statement or phrase you want to utilize to describe what these players should be doing. They're still there, but very much got to wait your turn. Now, it wouldn't shock me. I'm going to close the show on this thought. I know many of you do not want to hear this thought, but it's reality. It wouldn't shock me if at the end of the season, maybe even at the end of spring practice, you figure out that one quarterback, maybe two quarterbacks, here's the transfer portal. Why wouldn't it shock me? You, I, I, We're talking about five quarterbacks. You, you can only play one. Will Howard is going to be in his last year. If Devin Brown believes he can play this year, and it, it's not at, at Ohio State, I would not be mad at him if he left. I would completely understand why he chose to do that. It it would make a whole lot of sense for him. And if I was in, in, in his shoes and I hear, hey, I'm not going to start at Ohio State, but I can start pit, filling the school. Don't really matter. Filling the school. If you could start, you would go. Absolutely. 100% you would go. Why? You're bettering your career and you're getting on the field quicker. I remember. I remember – was it last offseason? There was Legend Cavazos and there was a defensive lineman. Defensive lineman, I believe, hit the portal first, and the Legend Cavazos was a defensive back at Ohio State. He ended up in, hitting the portal, and one thing he wanted to do was to play now. And I think he realized playing now wasn't going to happen. So what did he do? Hit the portal, went to a new school in North Carolina, and found a way to get on the field. You love it. Chip Trainer, I would have loved for him to stay at Ohio State. I'm easily going to tell you, Henderson went fully healthy, which is rare. <laughs> so rare, unfortunately. When Henderson's fully healthy and Judkins is healthy, those two guys are better than Chip Trainum at running back. But also keep this in mind. They haven't always relied and leaned on Chip Trainer when he was at Ohio State. I would still they say, though, a fully healthy Henderson is better than Chip Trainer. But what did Chip Trainer do? He left Ohio State, went to a school that he could play at now as he only has one more year of eligibility left. And I really think that young man's going to tear up opponents in the fall. Same goes for the other quarterbacks. Devin Brown could actually be in this conversation, too. If you don't think you're going to play in the fall, and you think you have a better opportunity elsewhere, do you play football now? I would not be mad if you were somebody else left the Buckeyes, left Columbus to seize the opportunity that's right in front of you. Out of here, y'all, here on a Tuesday. A few more shows left this week. Got a basketball game coming up, and uh, I believe tomorrow. I don't really have that uh, memorized. You said the schedule memorized, but then this team really got bad. They have a game on Thursday. Excuse me, not tomorrow. Have a game on Thursday, 8 o'clock Eastern, on the Big Ten Network against on the road at Minnesota. After that, they play on the road at Michigan State on Sat on Sunday afternoon at 4. That is on CBS. Don't know who's broadcasting those games yet. Uh, we'll definitely relay, relay that information here on the show and, and definitely on the subtext and on the uh, Twitter X as well. So everyone knows all the information about what's going on on game day for the Buckeyes basketball team. Got to bring back the Ohio State game day preview stuff that I tweet out and used to send to me in the subtext as well. Used to do it all the time, then stopped. Um, spreads and who's broadcasting where the game is going to be so you can watch the game, where to listen to the game on the radio, and some nerd note stuff, but all stuff that I believe people want to know about their team on game day. The Buckeyes basketball team might get more attention if Jake Diebler steps into this interim head coaching role and keeps rolling over opponents right in front of them. I'm done rambling. Y'all can ramble all day. We're out here on a Tuesday. You can follow me on X at jstevens07. Send all of your emails to jstevens317 at gmail.com. We are out of here, y'all, here on a Tuesday. For the final time, I'll be saying that, that statement. Woo! We'll see you next time.